welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today, I have seven different boxes to share with you all. We have the Southern Fleek Bath Box, the Vela Box, the Hermine Box, the Slay Glam Box, the Journal Junk Sack, the Journal Junk Box, and the Kids Creative Journaling Box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. And on Sundays, I like to unbox multiple in one videos so you can see them all at once. So if you like these Sunday videos, definitely make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today, unboxing all of these boxes. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little tired because I did film three videos before, before this one, so it's gonna be fun. Um, also, for this Memorial Day weekend, Liquid IV is having their like extra boosted sale. So the code that I have is now gonna give you 25% off. So if you need to stock up on your Liquid IV, I would recommend doing that. I feel like honestly, I could use one right now. I should have gone and gotten one before this video because I probably am gonna need some hydration here soon. They have some amazing summer flavors. They got pina colada, sea berry, watermelon. They've got so many yummy summer flavors. So I know I've talked about them on the channel a lot, but just wanted to let you know that they do have 25% off going on this weekend. So again, code will be down in the description box below. All right, so where do we want to start? Mm, I already know because it's one of my favorite boxes. We're gonna start it off with the Southern Fleek Bath Box. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Southern Fleek Bath Box, this is a monthly bath subscription, surprise, um, that comes with like a bunch of bath bombs, bubble bars, sometimes shower gels, anything bath shower related. It is $49.99 a month. And I do have a code where you can get a discount on her Etsy page, which I will leave down in the description box below. Uh, but the owner hand makes all of the bath products. It's a small women owned business and I love to support. And the box is super cute. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. It smells so incredible. So this is their May box, which is their flower garden theme. And honestly, the tissue is so cute with the little flowers on it. Oh my gosh, this looks very bath bomb heavy and I'm so excited. Everything's wrapped really nicely in a bubble wrap. The first thing that I'm pulling out is the cutest little thing ever. This is the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. Um, it's hand painted and is scented in caramel and honey. Okay. Ooh, I don't always love honey and honey scented things, but I actually really like this. It's got that like honey and oats type scent to it. It's really sweet and it's just the cutest little thing ever. Oh my goodness, her bath bombs are so cute. Oh, it does smell really, really good. I, I actually really like this one. Oh, so cute for a little flower theme. We got our little bee. And then we have a little flower. This is the Sunkissed Bath Bomb. So this is obviously a sunflower. Um, it's a sun-kissed sunflower. It smells like a summer with a coconut twist. Ooh. Uh, oh, it does smell coconutty. I wasn't expecting that in a sunflower, but it smells really, really good. Oh, I love that. And it's like hand painted in the middle. I got your little bumblebee, your little sunflower. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is like spring, but it's also kind of summer and I love this. Okay, the next thing out is a shower bomb, which is the only thing in this box that's not a bath bomb this month. Um, so this is not a shower steamer. You get it wet and it will foam up in your hands and you wash with the foam. <gasps> it makes you soft and smells great. Um, caution after shaving as it does contain citric acid. Enjoy, scented in blackberry magnolia or mango coconut milk. I got mine in blackberry magnolia. This is, yes, this is the scent that I'm getting in this box that I love. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, I want a perfume of this. The nice thing is because it's a shower bomb and like the way you use it, it's kind of like a body wash type situation. So you will smell like this. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I just like kissed it. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I do like that you put that, like you probably don't want to use this right after shaving because of the citric acid. So I love that you put that disclaimer. Oh, it smells so, so good. Oh, 
I am so excited to use this. The next thing out is a Flower Blossom Bath Bomb. This is a gorgeous painted bath bomb that's made with skin nourishing ingredients and is scented in either apple or daisy. The daisy one is shimmery. Now I got mine in Apple Blossom and I'm okay with that because I love apple scented things. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, can't smell it super well through the plastic since it's wrapped so nicely, but oh my goodness. I love apple scented things and it like does have like a flower imprint on it. Oh my goodness. This one might be shimmery as well. I could be make no, maybe I'm making that up. There's a little bit of shimmers like in the paint on the top of it. Oh, everything in this box smells and looks so good. Up next, we have a rosebud bath bomb. It says, enjoy moisturizing, beautiful scented water. Just dissolve in warm water and relax. You'll receive either just peachy or apricot rose scents. I got just peachy. Oh, I love a good peach scented thing. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all, this is a, we're not done yet, but like maybe my favorite Southern Fleet bath box ever because it's very bath bomb heavy and the scents are so, like this box is out of this world good. I love it. <gasps> okay. Look at how cute. This is, this is the bathtub bath bomb. It says this fun logo bath bomb will be one of six different fragrances available and each one was hand painted to be beautiful and unique. <gasps> I love that. Now it doesn't say what scent it is. So I don't know. This smells like Lucky Charms. It's like that, that lime and like a lime type scent. <gasps> oh, this smells so good. It smells like Lucky Charms. I'm like a lime marshmallow, yum, yum, yum. Oh my gosh, this smells really, really good. Of course, there's one of six different fragrances, but I love it. It's like purple, but it has like blue and pink speckles in it. And then it's got like the shimmery little, but oh, these are so cute. Are you kidding me? If you get the box, let me know. What did your um, little bathtub bath bomb smell like? I would love to know down in the comments below. All right, and that is everything in the May Southern Fleek bath box. This is genuinely one of my favorite boxes. You can probably tell from my excitement. This is my, I, like, my favorite Southern Fleek bath box I think we've had. There's been a couple other ones that have been really good, so maybe I, if I looked at those and compared it, maybe I would feel differently, but like right now in this moment, like this is definitely the bath, bath, best one. Everything is so cute. It smells like, Oh, I want to smell like this all the time. Everything smells so good and I need to just get off this video and start taking a bath because oh, I'm so excited about this box. So again, I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. I probably should mention that all the boxes today were sent to me free for review, um, but I do have that cute coupon code or that discount down below if you sign up through her Etsy page. All right, up next, let's dive into the Her Mine box. I'm not sure which month this is for, but it's been quite a while since Her Mine have sent me a box and I'm so excited to unbox one again because I've definitely missed having this box on my channel. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Her Mine, it is a monthly kind of like self-care subscription um, where they heavily feature a women owned and a lot of small business brands. So they help share these women's powerful stories and each month you get five to eight full and sample size products. The box is $49.95 a month. Now I had a coupon code for this box, Katrina, which gave you 10% off. I assume that code still, may still work. It may not since it's been so long since I've unboxed it, but I will put it down in the description box below. And I just, I love a box that supports women-owned businesses, mission-driven businesses, and so I'm very excited to dive inside. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. Okay, so this is their May box. It is their face love box. So a lot of the products or all the products in this box are gonna be related to your face and pampering and taking care of your face. Um, having gotten this box, before, they do tend to focus on different areas of the body or different themes on how you should do self-care. For a sneak peek for June, it's their summertime themed box. Um, so it will help you embrace the sun-kissed season. The pamphlet's also on like a nicer, like thicker um, paper than it was previously. And it does list everything inside. The very first thing that I am pulling out here is an aqua sheet mask from Lapcos. Jennifer Lee is the owner. So this is formulated with deep sea water and plankton extracts. This mask helps to strengthen your moisture barrier with a burst of hydration. You can store them in the fridge for an extra dose of just refreshness. These are really, really cute. This is um, Korean skincare, which is really, really nice. And I love the blue of this. Like it's like 
I know this is like the May box and not the summer box, but it's giving me kind of like summer vibes and I am here for it. Or like maybe very hydrating vibes, which I love. All right, up next we have this here from Amuse and this is their foam cleanser. On each of these brands, it does like show like the female owner for each of those in here. So this is a gentle and clarifying face wash suitable for all skin types. We can use it daily in the morning and evening for refreshed, renewed and rejuvenated skin. You massage gently over wet skin and rinse off for superior cleanser cleansing experience. Ooh, it is sealed. So I'm not going to open it up right now because I do have a lot of other face washes um, that I do have open right now, but I love the pink color. It's so fun for like spring and summer and you can always use another face wash. All right. Up next, we have a little facial brush. This is from Almost Famous and this is a the Clean Freak Exfoliating Brush, a two-in-one tool that cleanses your oily T-zone with 550,000 soft microfiber bristles. It removes makeup, blackheads, and whiteheads for a clear, beautiful skin. It says color may vary. They show like a little blue one in there, and I got a purple one. Ooh, uh, it's like a pur purple holographic. It's a very cute. So on one side, you have like these like little rubber ones, and on the other side, you do, ooh, it's so soft. <gasps> uh, I honestly, I need to use this because I need to clear out my pores. I just get so lazy to use tools like this, but I absolutely need this and I love the color of it. I also, the way that it like comes out, it actually is really comfortable to hold in your hand. Um, and this, these bristles are so incredibly soft. Oh my goodness. And they've got little bulbous things going on too. Very nice. Then we have something from Yenza. This is their Super 8 Lip Oil. It does look like you could have gotten a diff different shades. I don't know which one I have, so let's open it up. Okay, so I got mine in pink shine. There's a like kind of a reddish looking one here too. Um, so it is a tinted lip oil infused with a powerful blend of eight super oils for mega moisture, nourishing shine, and even color in one swipe. Oh, I do want to smell this. I feel like I've tried this before, but it's been a while since I have. Oh, the smell. It's, I don't know what, if it's like watermelon, Oh, I just got it on my nose. What is it with me and getting products on my nose? I always, oh, it's definitely gonna rub off my makeup because it's oily. Okay, good job, Katrina. Um, it smells really good and adds a nice little tint to the lip. I've used their lip oils before and did really enjoy them. This is such a fun color for spring, though it did say the color may vary, so you might not get the pink shine color. Ooh, up next, this is very fun. This is an eye gel mask, or gel eye mask, excuse me, um, from Prep Obsessed. This is your ultimate solution for revitalized puffy, strained entire eyes, use on the microwave or the freezer. Um, this is great. Um, as some of you know, <laughs> I had to have surgery on my eyelids earlier this year, nothing serious, but during the process right after I needed a lot of cold and then I needed hot. And in fact, I have to do a hot eye mask for five minutes every day. Um, so it's nice to have a little extra one here that I can use um, when I need to kind of do that to just help it, um, with my eyelids. Um, so there's definitely some great benefits for like clearing the eyelid duct when you do the warm um, one on your skin. So very, very excited for this. I love that it can be hot and cold because when I did it, I only had the hots, I didn't have the colds and blah, blah, blah. So very excited for this. I will definitely be getting use out of this. And then last but not least, we have a candle. This is from Ives and Bees, and this is their aqua candle. So it says, we love the refreshing and tranquil scent of this candle. It captures the essence of pristine, crystal clear water with its delicate, clean aroma. Uh, the candle invites you to unwind and immerse yourself in a serene aqua inspired ambiance. Ooh, okay. Standard wax and wick. Oh, I love this scent. Oh, <gasps> this is good. It does smell aqua-y. I don't know how to even describe it, but it smells like sweet, calm water. <laughs> it kind of is that like fr sweet, fresh, like fresh out of the shower type of scent. Like if you came out of the shower smelling like this, it'd be like, mm, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, I love that. That is very, very good. All right, so that is everything in the Her Mine box for May. Again, this box was very focused on the face with I suppose the exception of the candle because that, well, I guess your nose smells the candle. I don't know, um, but I thought that was a very good box. Um, again, there's like a kind of different focus each month. So if you're somebody who's like, oh, I don't need a ton of face products, just know that in future boxes, there will be other things. And next month will be that kind of sun-kissed summer box for June. So definitely let me know your thoughts down 
down in the comments below. And again, I will leave that 10% off coupon code. Hopefully it still works. All right, up next, let's dive into the Slay Glam Box for May. At least I think it's the May box based on when I received it. But if you're unfamiliar with the Slay Glam Box, you're missing out. This is a really good box. Um, this is a monthly beauty box that is makeup heavy. So if you're a makeup gal, this is for you. Um, each month you get five to seven beauty items inside and each box has at least one palette. There's no skincare in this box. It's makeup. Um, the box is $24 a month. So I consider this a bang for your buck box, meaning that like you get a lot for your money in this box. And I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. So this box does not have a card or anything in it, but the first thing I'm pulling out, I'm so excited about. This is from Rachel Couture. Ooh, gotta tell my sister about this. Um, this is a face and body shimmer spray. It is like so shimmery. It might be too dark for my skin. I'm gonna be honest. I do want to smell it because I, I want it to smell really good. I, maybe it won't, but I do want to, I'm gonna open it the wrong way. Okay. It actually doesn't have a scent. If anything, maybe slightly smells like sesame oil, which is not actually a bad thing. So it's a nice little shimmer spray. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little bit on my arm. Should I? I don't know. We're gonna spray a little bit on my arm because I'm just like, oh, oh. Okay, it's very shimmery. Let me like rub that out. Okay, for me, definitely need to like spread it out, but there is a shimmer on my arm. I feel like you are not gonna be able to pick that up on camera, but oh my gosh, if you're going to the pool or the beach and you just wanna have that like little sparkly glow moment, this will give it to you. It's so sparkly and fun. Like, you're not going to be able to tell on camera because it's that, like, subtle glow. It doesn't look, like, crazy, you know what I mean? It doesn't smell, and it feels pretty hydrating, so that is very exciting. It is face and body, so you could put it on your face um, and have a little sparkly moment. Up next, we have this here. This is a blushing blush from Bow Babe Beauty. Lots of bees going on there. Um, looks like it's going to be a pretty pink color. So it comes in a little black plastic compact and... Ooh, that is the blush. That's very like a Barbie pink. It's very fun. It might be too pink for my pale skin, but it, I like the color. It's giving me Barbie vibes. I don't think, I wonder if this is eye safe because I would love this as an eyeshadow. I don't know whether or not it is, but that is a super pretty blush and it is in, wait, what shade is it in? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't have a shade. I thought it was is blushing blush the shade or is that just whatever and it's one blush shade? I don't know, but it's a very fun color. Up next, we have this here. This is from Oh Kaylin, and this is their Charm Focus Double Effect Brow Pencil. Mine is in shade 2 Coffee. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm curious if, oh, I think that will work for me. I should be able to pull off that with my brow color since I have a darker brow color. So on one end, it has that kind of like triangular shaped um, crayon pen thing. And does the other side have something else? Oh, the other side just has a little spoolie. Um, so a nice little brow pen. Oh, I'm excited about that. I um, always love to try new brands. I've never tried the one from, or the new brow, whatever. I haven't tried the Okalen brow pencil. I've tried Okalen products before because we've gotten them in the box, but that is uh, very exciting. Mm, I think I'm gonna save the palette for last and we're gonna go into this next product. So this is um, the Rude Starlet Glitter Lipstick from Supercharged, I think is the brand. Um, oh no, it's by Rude Cosmetics. It's their Supercharged Starlet Glitter Lipstick. Mine is in the shade Diva. I don't know if I've ever seen like, I know we've, I've seen a metallic lip, but I don't know if I've seen a glitter lipstick like in it form before, cause like, Metallic lipsticks sometimes make your lip lines look weird, so I'm curious to see. Oh, it has like little stars on the compact. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. It does look like glitter, and it's like a gold to, or orange to pink hue. I don't know if you can like, if that's gonna read on camera. Okay, we have to swatch this. Whoa, it is glittery. It reads metallic, but it is glittery. The other thing, it's very creamy, so I feel like you may not get like the butthole lip effect of like some of the metallic lips. <gasps> Ooh, that's fun. I like that a lot. I don't know if I wear colors like this a lot, but I love the concept, so I will definitely have to like try this out. Ah, so fun. And last but not least, we have a palette. This is from Amoris USA, and this is their Pearl Paradise palette. This has 32 
shade press pigments inside. Oh my goodness, it does list all the shades and little she she seashells on the back. Are the pans little seashells? No, they're not. I was like secretly hoping they'd be shaped like seashells, but it's okay. There's a ton of shades in this palette. It does come with a full mirror. Oh my goodness, there's so much that you can do here. Um, there's lots of greens, there's some reds and some pinks, there's all different, there's like mattes, shimmers, glitters. Now as tempted as I am to swatch a few, I'm trying to be good about which palettes I keep, and I don't know if I'm keeping this one yet, so I'm not gonna swatch anything just yet. Like this shade, I die over. Like I love, I love, I love, I love, I love. Oh, there's so much fun stuff here. Um, I, uh, I might have to play around with it. I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to swatch it quite yet just because I don't know if I'm keeping it. I have so many palettes, but this is so, so fun. And I love that it has so many shades in it that you can play around with. Very, I'm excited about all this. This was a good box. So that's everything in the box. You get a palette, you get a blush, you get a brow pencil, you get a lipstick, and you get a nice little shimmer spray. So I love the variety of products in there. And for $24, that is so, so worth it. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this box. And again, I do have that 10% off coupon code in case you're interested in signing up. All right, up next, let's dive into the Vela box for May of 2023. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Vela box, this is a monthly candle subscription where each month you get candle and an additional gift. So there are three different box sizes or candle sizes. The one that they send me is the biggest one. This is the Vivari, which is $38 a month for a 16 ounce candle. Then also have the Ignis, which is $28 a month for an eight ounce candle, or the Lucerna, which is $18 a month for a four ounce candle. And I do have a very good discount code down below where you can get your first box for 50% off. Now each month is kind of taken over by a different candle maker. These tend to be small artisan US candle making companies and there are different scents each month. Um, I got to choose my scent because it's sent to me free for review, but how it works as a subscriber is that um, you fill out a profile and based on your profile, they pick a scent for you. So when you sign up, you get to fill out a little questionnaire that asks you what type of scents you like. So do you like floral? Do you like woodsy? Do you like really strong scents? Do you like lighter scents? All those type of questions. And based on how you answer those, it will then pick your candle scent for each month. So it comes in this super cute box. I do like to read what's on the box because I feel like it kind of talks more about them. So it says artisan made luxury scents, elevated design, eco-friendly packaging, and natural ingredients. When you open it up, that is what it looks like. The little card on the top says, happiness looks good on you. So this month, they're actually featuring Vela Box brand candles. I feel like they've done it maybe once before. Um, so Vela Box does have their own candle line, um, and normally it's not their brand of candles that you get each month. So they have them in the box this month to celebrate the launch of their new moods collection. Six lively and colorful scents, each representing a specific mood. The May Box features four of the six scents, Nostalgic, bubbly, groovy, and lucky. We're thrilled for our subscriber family to be able to first to light and enjoy this new collection. Um, and if you're a subscriber, you can get 15% off of that collection. Um, each month, the candle does come in a drawstring bag. Mine is in this fun, like maroon or like wine colored bag. And I got the bubbly scented candle. Ooh, my bag matches it. I wonder if all of them were this color or if that had to do, no, I bet it, this has to do with this the scent notes because this is citrus champagne mandarin and blackberry and the blackberry gives me this vibe i don't know i wonder if like this coordinated or and they had different ones for different scents i don't know i don't know if you get a different scent like let me know did your bag was it different was it the same color um so this is what it looks like so it is notes of champagne mandarin and blackberry it says you're slap happy and feeling chatty despite your typical introverted behavior it's brought on by being a around your favorite people um, slowly infecting everyone around the table until it's become the group mentality. The constant giggling received a few judgmental stares from other tables, but they're secretly jealous. Nothing can ruin the serotonin boost. Oh, I love this one. I really love the color of this. Um, it has that description here too. So I'm excited. I love like a blackberry citrus. Oh, that's like right up my alley. So white um, lid with a little gold rim, standard wax and wick. Ooh. I like it. It's not what I was expecting. It's kind of more in like the deep sexy notes than the like the super bright notes. It is bright, don't get me wrong, but this has this is like sexy bright. It's like deep like it has like almost like a wine scent to it because of maybe the blackberry. I don't know. Ooh, uh, that is a very nice. It's again different from what I was expecting, but I do really like it. 
It's growing on me. I feel like this smells like a home. Like the scent of a home. It kind of has that like wintry spice berryness to it, but it's like a fresh bubbly version of that. That's how I would describe it. Okay, I am a fan of this. I really love the packaging. I think it's so cute. And the other scents um, are probably really, really awesome as well. Um, so you get the candle and then you also get a little added gift each month. And this month it's this. This is a wooden trinket tray. This retails for $14, so it's a cute little dish for cute little things. Let me put some nightstand, coffee table, so you can put like your AirPods on it or some rings or some coins. So just a little cute catch tray and it has a little flower engraved into it. Very, very cute. So that is everything in the Vela box for May. Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. This could be a good Father's Day gift if you have a father who likes candles. Like, I feel like women tend to like candles more, but like, I feel like some men might. So if they're into this, then I highly recommend this as a great Father's Day little um, gift that you could give them. All right, up next, let's jump into the journaling boxes. I'm kicking it off with the journal junk sack, which is the mini version of the journal junk box subscription. So the journal junk sack and the journal junk box are a monthly stationary subscription. It also comes with like cute little office supply things. Um, the journal junk sack is the mini version of subscription and is $23.95 a month. And then this one is $44.95 a month. Um, and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get 15% off of those. That does also apply to the kids subscription, which is $37.99, which we'll get into as well. But Starting off with the $23.95. I believe all of these are their June boxes. So we're switching from May into June here. So everything comes nicely bundled together in the mini subscription. And while you may get similar products in the mini and the larger subscription, you can get both because they're usually like a different design. So you can, I think there's an option to bundle the two when you sign up. Ooh, up first we have some fun pens. These are the Ocean Gel Pens and there's eight assorted colors, waterproof inked and Grip Comfort 0.55 fine gel pen. Ooh, we always get some really fun pens in these subscriptions and I love gel pens. They're just so nostalgic and so fun and I love that you get so many fun colors here. You then also get this little card. It's kind of like a coaster. This one's one-sided this month and it says Faith Over Fear. Super cute. Ooh, uh, then we get a little tropical sticker kit. This is from Paper House and this is their Tropical June kit. It says Hello Summer to do. It's got flamingos and things there. I think there's multiple pages. I don't know if they're the same or not. Okay, they are actually different. There's three different sheets there, which are super summery and fun. So I have a feeling this the like June box theme or whatever is like summer. They tend to theme their boxes, which is always so fun. The next thing out is a little, um, I guess, canvas tote sign pouch. Um, this is their Beach Babe pouch. It's very nice quality. It's got a nice little zipper pull here. And it's just so you can put your little pens in there. It's flat. You could put like makeup or makeup brushes, but again, it is flat. Could be a cute little put your bathing suit in it type of moment. Probably not when it's wet, but if it's dry, it's a cute little beach babe thing there. And then last but not least, maybe a fun beachy notebook. It says Carpe Diem in like a holographic print. It's got a little pink bug design on it. Oh, I thought it went all the way over. Oh, it's got a fun orange inside. And then, oh, it's orange lines. And it says, does it say Carpe Diem on all the pages? It does say Carpe Diem on all the pages. And then there is like a peachy orange um, book mark in there as well, or a little um, ta tassel there for you to do that. So a nice little Carpe Diem notebook. So that is everything in the mini box. I thought that was very fun and summary. So now let's dive into the larger box, which like I said, is the journal junk box. It's $44.95 a month. And again, 15% off for this, 15% off for basically everything of these three last boxes, journal sack box and the kids box. Ooh, when you open it up, that is what it looks like. And the theme for June is seize the day, which is so fun. On the back, it does go over everything inside with retail prices and you do get your four journal prompts. So each month you get a prompt for each week of the month. So for example, one of them here is write about your perfect beach day. So love that they include those. The first thing that I'm pulling out is the journal for the month. Each month you do get a journal. So this is the Seize the Day. You could have also gotten the Take Time, but I got the Seize the Day Coptic Bound journal selection. Various. So this retails for $16.50, so it's Coptic Bound, which is really cool. Oh, these are like thick 
really, really thick front covers. And then you've just got lined pages. The nice thing about Coptic Bound is it will lie pretty flat. It says, be strong, be bold, and have no fear. Oh, it has different sayings on each of them. Oh, that's fun. It says, go where the stars take you. So it has little motivational things on each of the pages there. Super duper cute. I love that. All right, up next, I have a little journal. This is the Artsy Animal Travel Journal, which retails for $6.99. Mine has a cute glittery flamingo on the front. Um, I assume based on that, that maybe you could have gotten different animals. Oh my gosh, there's one on the inside cover, and then the pages are lined in pink lines with little flamingos on them oh this is such a cute it's so tropical and fun and it's pink like the binding on it is pink um thread oh that is so so cute and fun i love that the next thing that i'm pulling out is a set of stickers this is the sun drenched sticker multi-pack by paper house which retails for 4.99 so let me lift back the plastic so you can actually see these guys but there's like a bunch of different ones inside that are so beachy oh my gosh the child in me, <gasps> oh, I love these. These are so fun and it also has some really nice things for like bullet journaling or things like that that you could line your pages with. So really, really nice, fun summary set. There's 164 stickers in this pack. Ooh, up next we have a fun pen. This has like a good weight to it. It's a pretty like pink salmon -y color and this is their Dream Believe or floral ballpoint pen, assorted selection, which retails for $7. I got the Dream Believe Achieve pen. It clicks in, that's just a ballpoint. It feels nice, like there's definitely a weight to it. And I love the click, the click is fun. <gasps> okay, so a very nice pen. You usually always get some sort of pen or pens or pencils or things like that in the box and you usually always get a journal as well. Okay, I think up next is in here because it says it's the Dream Believe binder clip set. And this is a set of 12 for $14. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It comes in a little jar with a little cork top and you do have little things. The pink ones say achieve, the blue ones say believe, and then the bottom ones are like white with little polka dots that say dream. Oh, these are so cute. You can put this on your like desk. Excuse me, that is so, so cute. And I love that you can like reuse the little jar afterwards. That is so fun. Then we have this here. It says, life is better at the beach. This is their pocket notepad by Punch Studios, which retails for $5.99. So it has like the little gold floating life's like a beach with the seashells. It's got little jewels on it as well. It's magnetized when you open it up. Oh, it has a little seashell, a sand star on the bottom. It's not like sticky notes. It's just regular pad of paper. So a little pocket notebook, super duper fun. Oh my gosh, so cute for the summer. We have this here. This is the Just Chill Stainless Steel Tumbler, which retails for $25. It's one of the nice ones with a nice little lid here that will keep it hot or cold, I assume. Um, hand wash only, non-abrasive sponge. And yeah, it's just a double walled little tumbler. It's so cute for the summertime. Yay! And then last but not least is a surprise item. So mine is Memory Files and it's a six pack. And it looks like these are like little mini manila folders, <laughs> but obviously not manila. Oh, these are really cute. I'm not gonna open it up right now because I feel like I'm gonna make a mess of it, but it's just cute little files in different shapes and things. It's like definitely smaller than a regular piece of paper. Like it's not a, it's not the size of a regular one. They're definitely much smaller than that. Like they're like, does it say how big they are? I don't know. It's not as big as a sheet of paper. It's smaller than that. But you can maybe store little pictures and things in there as little memory files. That's so cute. <gasps> like little <gasps> beach trip vacation photos. You can put like Polaroids in here. Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, so that is everything in the journal junk box for June. I thought it was really fun. I love the beachy theme for June. It is so, so much fun. So definitely let me know your thoughts down below on this one. Again, I have the 15% off. And now let's dive into the kids subscription. So the kids box is called the Kids Creative Journaling Box and is $37.99 a month. Um, and the 15% off coupon code applies to it too. I unboxed the first one last month and I loved it. Now, I don't have kids, I don't plan on having kids anytime soon, but I know a lot of you guys out there have kids and I just think this box is so, so fun. This is a box that I would have absolutely loved so much as a kid, at least based on the first box, which is like an outer space theme, so I'm super curious to dive into this one. Ooh, this is really cute. So this is what it looks like. The theme this month is You Are Magical. Oh my gosh, for June. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, it gives you some journaling tips about keeping your journal in a safe space, reflect on what you wrote, really great things that younger children can get into journaling with. Um, and then on the back, it takes you on a little map and journey of all the products inside, which is so, so cute. And then it also gives you June magical prompts, or June magical prompts, June journal prompts that are magical. Um, so one of them is, for example, if you have one magical power to make your dreams come true, what would it be? Write about how you could use your power. Um, so I think it's really, really fun. A great way to get younger children into journaling. Then you do get a cute little bookmark. It's says fueled with happy thoughts on the back of it it has a mood of a moodoscope so on here it says remember to use your moodoscope bookmark any day to choose how you feel and use that to prompt the journaling for the day so I love this because it gets at children being able to express their feelings and I feel like a lot of adults who journal like you you have like a, a lot of people like mood trackers and their their um you know journals and things like that so um for instance, if you feel sad that day, it says, what made you feel sad today and what can you do to feel better? So I really, really love that touch. All right, the kid in me is about to explode. The first thing out is a unicorn locking journal. I loved locking journals. Um, it says, it has a little shiny foil there. Now I'm not gonna take it out of this because I don't, I, I am not gonna use this for myself, but I'm gonna donate it to some kids. Um, so, I want to have it nice and clean and pristine for them. Um, so it says, write about your thoughts, feelings, and anything that happened during your day. Oh, the locked one, that's what makes it so good as a kid. It says ages six plus. It has 216 line pages, and there's two keys included. So it says, believe in magic with a little unicorn. It is so cute. Like, I would die for this as a kid. Like, this is like, oh, I would love, I loved little lock journals. I was so into that. Um, so love, love, love. Up next, we have a really fun highlight set from Yubi. This is a gel highlighter set. So this is add a burst of color to your drawings and words. Ooh, gel highlighters. Those look fun. So it has fun little sayings on them like shine bright, highlight your world, make your mark, look on the bright side. So fun little color highlighters, which can be fun for journaling, but also if they're like doing schoolwork and studying and wanting to highlight things, super fun. Oh, this is, <laughs> I love this box so much. We get a chalk set from UB. So this is their chalk and holder set. You can use this colorful, fun chalk to scribble and create fun art. Writing in chalk is just so fun as a kid. I love the chalk holder. I love that the chalk is in different colors, but also has designs. Like in my apartment complex, the kids love in the summer to go out and draw all over this, the little sidewalks. And they do like little hopscotches. I see different hopscotch. I like walk around my apartment and I see like all the different hopscotches and things. It's so cute. Um, so I think this is something that like I love it because it's like writing but it's like outdoor writing and oh that is so fun and the rain just washes it away and life is good um so really really love that <gasps> oh my gosh I have unicorn stickers and they're little like puffy stickers they're so cute um so you get some unicorn stickers it says use these cool unicorn stickers to personalize your journal pages um they are a little puffy so they might make the pages like stick up apart but they're 18 little unicorn and they have like little stars and um Rainbows as well, so 18 little stickers. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. The child in me is very happy right now. Ooh, okay, we have some more fun pens and pencils. So we have a unicorn pen and pencil. So you can write, scribble, and draw with these fun unicorn pens and pencils. So the pencil has like, this one has little fairies and stuff on it. it doesn't have unicorns, but it has little fairies. It's super colorful and fun. And then it also comes with this so super cute little unicorn pen. It's a ballpoint pen from UB. Oh my gosh. My sister had a unicorn build a bear called Uni growing up. So this would have been like, she loved horses and like she would be dying over this right now. <laughs> then there's usually a fun little like snack inside. And this month it is this. It is some cotton candy from charms. So it says, enjoy this fluffy melt in your mouth treat. So fun little treat. Ooh, up next we have some washi tape. This is unicorn washi tape. So you can decorate and outline your journal pages with washi. So you've got two, one of them has like little unicorns and little girls with unicorns on them. So it's a more, the wider one. And then the thinner one says, wish upon a unicorn over and over again. 
so fun. And then last but not least is a surprise item. So I don't know if everybody got this or if people got different things, but in mine, there's a little like pencil pouch. It's a binder one. So it has a little binder ring. So you could stick this in a binder. This is like definitely like a good, like plasticky pleathery material that you could absolutely like kind of wash down. And then the inside is just blank. And there's a piece of cardboard to keep it straight right now, but a fun little pencil pouch. So that is everything in the kids version of the stationery subscription. I love this. I am like almost more excited about it like than I should be because I'm not a kid, but like the kid in me, if I had received this when I was younger, I would have been over the moon. It's so good. Um, so definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I think this could be an amazing gift. Um, to give your children or to somebody else's children, your grandchildren, whatever. I just think children would really, really love this. Obviously, this is probably made for an age that's old enough to kind of be writing and, and, and that kind of stuff. So it's um, not that a younger kid couldn't enjoy it, but there's probably a certain age range um, that would be best suited for this box. But I do think it is so, so much fun and a great way to get children into journaling. So again, I do have that 15% off coupon code for that box as well. And I do believe for all of those boxes, they have gift subscription options, which is great. And that is everything in this week's subscription box Sunday video. We had so many good boxes, y'all. Like, oh, you definitely have to le let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. All right, favorite box, favorite product. The favorite box is tied this month between the Southern Fleet bath box and this children's stationery box. I love them both so much. And my favorite product is that shower bomb from the Southern Fleet bath box because the black scent was just so incredible. Like, mm, I want to smell like that. So that's my favorite product. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What was your favorite box? What was your favorite product? I would love to hear that down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.